Hey YouTube, Mama D here. I think this will be the last video for today. I wanted to uh, mention, give you a little update regarding the pole shift. It has come to my attention um, that we are now at, um, let me see, the digits where we have shifted down to now is 34 degrees that the Earth's crust has moved that we are starting to move now it is my understanding that when we get to 40 degrees it really starts to move quickly so I don't know how long it will take us to get to that point but I just thought that um, we need to know stuff like this so that we can know the lateness of the hour so that we can know and realize the things that haven't been done need to get done. If you are not born again yet, you need to get born again. The Bible tells us the only way to get into heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Unless a man is born again, he cannot get into the kingdom of heaven. Now, we don't know uh, the distance where... Uh, I like playing with this thing. Uh, we don't know the distance of exactly where Nibiru is right now or the asteroid that is heading towards the Earth. But as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, the elite are already bugging out. So that uh, may give you some indication, again, of the closeness of the hour. So stay alert, stay awake, and um, if I uh, find out more about uh, how many degrees we have moved forward I will let you guys know as soon as I find out again I want to remind you guys God has not given us a spirit of fear we are not supposed to be afraid the Lord's hand is on each and every one of his kids he doesn't lie he's not like a man he doesn't lie he has promised to watch over us and take care of us through the hour of temptation and he's going to do just that. You've got to do your part. You make sure you walk in obedience. Repent when you sin. And uh, don't be worshipping any idols. Walk in obedience to the Lord's commandments. Now, uh, we're all going to sin. We're all going to mess up between now and then. Repent when you do, you know. We're still human. We are not perfect. Only Jesus is perfect. So stay on your guard regarding that one point. Now I wanted to bring up another point. Um, and, and I'm not trying to be Debbie Downer here, but you know, you guys have to be informed. I believe you have to be informed. And all the information that I bring on this channel is not to scare you. It's to encourage you to stay ready, to be ready 24-7 because the bride will be leaving in the very near future, I believe. And uh, I just want to mention that uh, when I mentioned in, in a previous video that it was not going to happen September 23rd, it wasn't to cut anyone down. It's to tell you that we shouldn't keep our... our um, our eye focused on that one date. The Lord may decide to take us sooner. He may take us later. You know, prayers of the saints do get to the Lord and He does listen to us. And there may be those couple of people that still haven't come into His kingdom that He wants to make sure that they go. So, don't, don't grow roots on September 23rd. Stay ready that it may happen before that. Or it may happen after that. Because the Lord is not going to give any human the glory that he deserves. Amen. But I wanted to talk about this one thing. After the pole shift, after the asteroid hits, there is going to be um, only one way to say it. There are going to be a lot of bodies lying around decaying people who have died uh, in the disaster 
Now, I would surmise that there are going to be thousands if not millions of people that will perish during this time this is the reason for all the FEMA coffins that they have stored up for all the uh, body bags that they have stored up because they know that now, now this is another indicator you guys for those of you that still do not believe that these things are going to go down well let me tell you something all this should be proof to you to your denial about all this stuff being real the government believes it's real if it's going through all the expense of buying body bags FEMA coffins having FEMA camps digging underground all this stuff don't be a foolish virgin all these things that are go going to come to pass are real take your head out of the sand get your spirit man ready to stand before your maker amen now what the reason i'm mentioning the uh the death toll is because everyone is going to be in the same bag we don't know how many soldiers are going to die during all this how many are going to be left in the aftermath we don't know so for those of you that do survive that don't go up in the rapture um, there will be a lack of assistance to put all these people uh, into the body bags into the coffins in a timely manner so what I am saying to you is that this may well be the birth of the pandemic that has been foretold by many people coming to America because of all the decaying uh, bodies that are going to be all over uh, the world. Not just here, it'll be all over the world. So for all you people that are posting videos saying, oh, leave the country, leave the country baby you don't know what you're talking about what devil is speaking out of you you are so in denial it is not just going to be the united states this is going to be a worldwide global event get that in your head it's not going to matter if we leave this country or not when god is angry and he pours his wrath on this world it's going to be the world, not just the United States. So, what I am saying here is that a pandemic may break out from all the decaying tissue all around us. And uh, it's, it's going to be a sad state of events. A very sad moment in time for the entire world, not just the United States. So don't cry me any tears if you live in France or England or the Caribbean or Australia. You're going to be a part of all this too. So I'm just throwing that out there. If you think you're going to be privy, you're not going to be privy. Now, there was a movie that I wanted to bring out because I think it has something to do with this. If there's going to be, uh, there has been some predictions that because of the lack of food there will be about that some people will turn to cannibalism. Now, I don't know if this is true. I don't want to know. I don't want to be around when it happens, if it happens. But there was, again, another movie. And um, the government was behind it, like always. And they, um, they wanted to get rid of some people. So what they did, you know, just like the, the airplanes are doing the chemtrails and everything. Well, I'm imagining it's going to be something similar to that. Because in this movie, there was some type of crop dusting going on. And for, um, for all I know, it may have been the uh, chemicals in there that made these people go crazy. It caused, uh, it caused them to be like in a zombie state. So a lot of people... Have posted videos about a zombie apocalypse well it may well be but not the way we think that they're going to come out of the ground 
it's going to be caused by something that um, the government may spray from airplanes during that time to get rid of some of the people like the New World Order is trying to depopulate the world. Now, in this movie, some of you may have seen it. I saw it, oh, many months ago. And uh, I think it was on cable recently. And and uh, I sat down and watched it because I didn't remember it too well. But uh, I remembered part of it and I watched it. And sure enough, it was uh, this little town and everyone had gone crazy. That's the name of the movie, The Crazies. And, but they all walked around like zombies and everything. They were killing everyone, eating each other. And uh, and then in the end, it turns out that the government had been spraying particular towns, going from town to town with this chemical that made them crazy. And they would drop bombs on them in the end because they wouldn't let them in or out of town because they didn't want it spread. They wanted to control a controlled depopulation uh, uh, program. Maybe that's the wrong word, but you get my drift. So uh, I wanted to mention that, that these may be some of the things that, um, that begin to take place. And some of these movies, like I have mentioned to you many times, a lot of these movies that they make, it's going to be a reality. It's just like they're trying it out, I guess, to see how the people react to it and everything. And and not everybody sees all the movies that they put out, you know, uh, mocking the population, you know, because people refuse to believe the ridiculous. The ridiculous, the outrageous scenarios and things like that. The other day, um, I saw a video about... Uh, somebody was stealing the water well you know like when I first started this ministry uh, the former governor Jesse Ventura he did a lot of videos on YouTube and you can still find these videos I think it's under um, conspiracy theory with Jesse Ventura if you google that all his videos will come up he did some excellent investigative work and I highly recommend going to that channel uh, uh, what made me look it up was the man was talking about someone stealing water and I remembered this video that Jesse did where Chinese boats were up in the Great Lakes stealing water they were loading water onto big ships and taking it out of here and uh, the Nestle Corporation have a plant somewhere up in uh, I think it was Minnesota, I'm not sure. And he went up there to investigate it and they were doing the same thing. They were stealing water, storing it in tankers and things like that. You guys, I highly recommend going to see Jesse's videos. He did some really good work on a lot of uh, conspiracy theories that are now coming to pass in this day and age. Now, I wanted to talk about uh, we're talking about the zombie apocalypse and uh, how they're going to come out of the ground and come to life and all that. Um, in the book of Enoch, in 22.9, I guess that's the verse or the section, the angels um, are escorting Enoch and he's showing them, they're showing him what it's like in hell and he shows them three sections of hell I mentioned this before way back in 2011 when I did something about hell and he shows where uh, who, who goes in who goes in what section there's a section of hell where the really hard hardcore people go they don't come out at all and according to the book of Enoch, they're not going to come out either for the judgment day. They're already there. They're already been judged. So I'm sure that's where Hitler is and Manson and people like that. Uh, they're in that section where they're not coming out. 
and now one of the other section was where uh, people die with sin whether they're believers or not when they die with sin you don't go absent from the body present with the Lord you go to this section if you have sin you go there and you're going to be there till um, the great white throne judgment and that's when you, he's going to bring them up from hell and judge them at that time and the other spot was where the people uh, who never accepted Christ they're righteous people but they never had the gospel preached to them so there's a lot of people that uh, question today they did back then that's why I did the video but there's a lot of people that question um, where do people go that have never heard the gospel well this is where they go it's uh, something like Abraham's bosom it's where um, where the people went before uh, Jesus died on the cross and it was emptied out when Jesus died on the cross so when we have the rapture these people in this section of hell will also go up with us the dead in Christ that that scripture the dead in Christ these this section of hell with the people that are in this section are the ones that go up they are the dead in Christ that the people speak about now the reason I'm mentioning uh, these sections of hell is because a very well-known uh, minister a televangelist recently did a um, a service where he was telling the people I don't know where people get this it didn't make sense to me before I researched and studied and I don't know why they're saying it now uh, they keep preaching that um, the dead in Christ are the people, believers, that die and are buried and you know their soul goes up to heaven and they come back to claim their body to take it up to heaven. That makes no sense. That makes no sense you guys. And it's wrong. It is wrong. That is not what happens. When we die we go before God. He lets us into heaven or he doesn't. That's what uh, the scripture, absent from the body, present with the Lord. When we die and everything is good and God approves of us, he lets us into heaven. We Once we're in heaven, we're not going to come back to claim a filthy old worm-filled body. We already have our glorified bodies, you guys. When Jesus gives us the okay to enter the pearly gates, we're in like flint. We're not going to come back for our nasty old dirty body that's been buried forever and ever. It's not going to be. So that is wrong teaching. And I don't know where they got it. But uh, there, it's it's out there and it's it's wrong. It's not um, It's not correct. The dead in Christ are those who are in Abraham's bosom that never heard the gospel preached, that were not saved when they die. They don't go to hell. They go to this particular section in hell. And so I just wanted to explain that. And and I, wanted, I talked about the pandemic. I just wanted to talk about some little stuff here that has been building up. And uh, let me see what else there is because after all these videos I did today and it's way past my bedtime uh, I think that's it I'll think of something else the Lord won't let me be quiet he'll let me keep you know updating for you guys so that's about it I wanted to cover those things and uh, just stay on your guard be ready 24-7 the Lord is coming for his bride and I'm going to keep saying that and keep talking to you keep trying to encourage you don't don't uh, don't quit you hang in there we're almost at the finish line and um, be careful be careful who um, you allow into your life to speak into your life amen and uh, 
always check scripture and uh, if something is not in scripture that doesn't mean it's not true you use your discernment you pray to the Lord like all these current events that are going on that they're not in the Bible this gay marriage law is not in the Bible the Nibiru is not in the Bible the asteroid is in the Bible the pandemics in the Bible the zombie apocalypse is not in the Bible there's a lot of words that were used back then that uh, did not express how uh, we see things today things that are invented today technology and other stuff and they didn't have understanding and uh, they obviously described uh, flying saucers, UFOs, different ways, you know, and, uh, and these are different times. So we have to use wisdom, pray to the Lord, read scripture for yourself, and, you know, that's, that's all I have tonight. And if I find out any more stuff about the pole ship, I will get to you as soon as I can. Amen? So, good night, and uh, I will talk to you guys uh, as soon as Alert speaks to me again. Amen? God bless you, keep you, and make His face to shine upon you, and bless you with wisdom and discernment, and good health. Amen? Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.